Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here and this is your Flying Week and Weekend Ahead Outlook brought to you exclusively by Flyer Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. It's Monday the 15th of April. Thanks again for watching. Of course we're heading now towards the Easter weekend and on those brownie points that you've been accumulating about to be spent. Well... It's not looking too bad this week. I think Western areas are certainly going to be murky earlier on. It's all thanks really to an old front that just weakens as it tries to get into high pressure. But it weakens away. And I think uh, we're always better across eastern parts of the country early in the week. Then it improves, I think, for all of us. The problem is going to be, again, with this easterly flow. They're always very scrappy these easterly flows and you're chasing round clouds so that's always going to be the issue through the course of this week. Um, the weekend's looking reasonable um, there will be some scattered showers uh, in the uh, south as we go through towards the Easter weekend but things are looking pretty good at the moment. Now if you want to learn more about forecasting yourself then you need to get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. Um, I've got a single place remaining on my course, course on Saturday the 7th of September. Um, you've all been emailing, asking for course dates uh, through October, November, December, which I haven't announced yet. I'm not sure when the next part one will be after this. Um, but uh, Saturday the 7th of September has one more place left on it and you can book that place now by going to weatherschool.co.uk. That's what you'll see. Come down to Aviation here and you can click on Aviation Weather School. That will give you all the information you need to know about Aviation Weather School, what we cover uh, on the course, and you can book your place by just clicking on the right-hand side here, where it says Book Securely by Card or PayPal. Incidentally, at the home page of Weather School, you can also uh, join our uh, list here, where uh, you'll get um, unique offers, and also you'll get the very latest course dates as they are released so you can book your place through there and I don't bombard you with rubbish um, you just get an occasional email uh, with the latest course dates on so it'd be great to see you at Aviation Weather School um, basically the idea of the, of the, uh, of the school is that uh, it builds your confidence in your own ability at forecasting and in the forecast that you're picking up uh, before you go flying because it's a major part uh, of looking at the forecast is knowing that what you're looking at is actually what's going to occur out the window and also spotting those occasions when things perhaps may not go quite according to plan. The aim of uh, Weather School is to build your confidence in it. So as I say, single place left on the 7th of September course. All of them up to then, I'm afraid, are, uh, are full. Uh, but this is the chart for this afternoon and we've got rain affecting western parts of the UK, western parts of Wales, the far west of Scotland, far west of England. Some more persistent rain coming up through Ireland with quite a strong southeasterly breeze here, non-VFR as conditions do deteriorate across Ireland, I think, and generally deteriorate across western parts of the UK as well. Eastern areas, though, tend to stay VFR, but quite a strong southeasterly wind, maybe some drizzle still blowing onto uh, the eastern coast of Scotland, making for non-VFR here. But if you're prepared to take that southeasterly at around 20 to 25 knots across central and eastern areas then it's a reasonable afternoon now for tuesday still got this front look out towards the west you see the green colors there it's it's a darkish green and that indicates that rain's not going to be very heavy it really is uh rain and drizzle uh, along it so some low cloud i think generally non vfrable uh through this zone base is about a thousand feet tops are up at about eight thousand feet there's hill fog associated with it across western ireland things improving here uh, probably still eastern parts of scotland perhaps the far northeast of england in non-vfr with a thousand foot bases and probably seven thousand foot tops with bits of drizzle but elsewhere it is VFRable. There's lots of cloud around. Bases 3,000 feet, tops at 7,000 feet. And breeze is still across the far north of England and Scotland. But overall, it's not bad. Now through Wednesday, the front is still there. It's going to be bits of cloud associated with this front. Murky to start perhaps along this sort of area. So we're in non to marginal VFR conditions. Probably fog shrouds, hills, bases a thousand to two thousand feet, tops at five thousand feet. But this thing is weakening all the time. To the north of that, it's generally VFR, although again, those eastern coasts of Scotland may be subject to low clouds and some drizzle. To the southwest of it, it gets brighter. We're marginal to VFR uh, here. I think generally improving through the day, bases two to four thousand feet eventually, with the tops at about six thousand feet. So it does get better. And then into Thursday, well, a change of flow 
on Thursday as we uh, see things just becoming more of an easterly quite a strong easterly particularly across uh, eastern areas of the country um, again it's we're chasing cloud through Thursday generally I do think that it's probably a brighter day it's a better day we've got some sunny spells around throughout the day as well the best of them always tending to be out towards the west of the country so what I'm going to say for Thursday is it's generally going to be a verifiable day so I think all areas look as if they're verifiable just going to watch for marginal at times down those eastern coasts should we get some low cloud drifting but generally three to five thousand foot basically seven thousand foot tops could just go to one to two thousand feet across the east should we get any lower cloud drifting in and really that sets the scene then running into the Easter weekend for Good Friday um, we've got that easterly flow still affecting all parts of the country we've got low cloud across the uh, eastern areas of the country perhaps from time to time just slipping in off the sea but i have to say really it's generally very farable all the way a bit breezy in the east admittedly but two to four thousand foot bases generally probably a seven thousand foot top it looks perfectly reasonable apart from as i say you've got an easterly so they do tend to be a little bit scrappy for saturday may just be a few showers brushing southern parts of the country courtesy of the occlusion you see there so here we could just go briefly marginal in those showers but generally it's very farable three thousand foot bases tops probably about twelve thousand feet and quite breezy in the south elsewhere very farable bases three to five thousand feet tops at around eight thousand feet and then finally heading in towards sunday well spot the difference on sunday um fair conditions i think generally very farable reasonable spells of sunshine should be dry all the way and we're looking at bases of around uh, four thousand feet tops at about eight thousand feet again a little bit scrappy because of that easterly flow but generally it's looking pretty good for easter sunday so I think I can say some good news there for you. Um, <clears throat> don't forget, we'll update on Thursday with all the very latest. Um, but uh, you can book your place now for Aviation Weather School. What an ideal Easter present. As I say, I've got that single place remaining on Saturday the 7th of September on Aviation Weather School Part 1. And if you're thinking, well, is Aviation Weather School for me? What experience do I need? <laughs> Forget anything that you've read in the textbooks. Basically, on Aviation Weather School, I've had people on there who are just thinking about doing their PPLs right the way through to 777 pilots. And everybody says they've learnt stacks by coming to Weather School and that their flying has improved. So don't worry about experience. Um, book your place. Go to weatherschool.co.uk. If you want to ask any questions about it, feel free to get in touch. Um, but I will leave you with that for now. And don't forget, if you want to follow us on social media, this is where you can find us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Phew, so many ways to get hold of us here at Weather School. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now. But whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining, and bye for now.